Hi, this is Lady Lex UK. This is a quick dreams tutorial. I just wanted to demonstrate the different ways that you can set a fixed number to a variable. Um, somebody asked the question, how do I set a number on a variable? Now, um, there are lots of different ways that you can do it. So I'm going to th go through all of the gadgets I could find that will easily allow you to type in a, a specific number and then uh, change this variable. So uh, here is my variable, I've called it test. And um, the first way of uh, changing the variable number is the simplest. You literally just move this slider to the number that you want, like so. So that number now has been changed, 12.3. And um, if you did nothing else, that is the number that that variable will hold is 12.3. So there we go. That's the easiest way of getting a number into a variable. You don't need any other gadgets. Just set the initial value and that's it. You're done. Let's put that back to zero. Now we have the variable modifier. So um, this is looking for that variable. Um, I've got it to set and uh, I've got this on continuously well powered so I have to turn the power on for this to work uh, it has to be on on play mode test play um, so there we go you can see if I move this slider along I can change the number you notice with both um, the variable and the variable modifier you can only send uh, one decimal place there we go so I've changed it. That's all good. And there's no wiring. You notice this is a wireless operation for this. Let's set that back to zero. And we'll leave that open because we're going to need this to uh, use these other gadgets to modify our variable. So the next one is a number displayer. Uh, the number displayer also has a slider. And this number displayer can be wired in. There we go. So eight, just the same as the other one. Again, one digit only. Pass a decimal place. One decimal place. That's it. So you can do that. Uh, obviously, the disadvantage of that is that you've got the, the number displayer on, but you can always um, uh, mix the take text opacity zero do that do that is gone okay so um there we go so you can get rid of these things as you need ah, i did the wrong one there we go right okay so that's a text display uh again one digit then we have the counter uh, the counter will only do an integer, so you've got a um, the current count, you just move it to where you want it to be. You might have to move the target value along uh, so you can get the number that you want. Uh, then you link from the current count into our operation value, and there you go. But these are integers, there's no decimal uh, places, so if you want whole numbers, then a counter will do. So there's the other option. Okay. Right, then we've got a value slider. This is one decimal uh, place. Let's open this up. So uh, you have to set your maximum value and your minimum value on your slider. But there we go, it's sending uh, a number, whatever you need, as you slide it up and down. So you can put your number in there. Again, one decimal for place. This is a signal generator. We're going to pass it into there. Uh, in order for it to send a signal, uh, all of these have got to be the same. So uh, we send that to 12. Uh, I had it and then lost it. There we are, 12. So now that is sending a number 12. There we go. To our test. 
Um, if you do a range of any sort, then it's going to go up and down the numbers. So you need to have, they must be exactly the same in order for uh, this to work. Because you want it to send a permanent signal. 5.7, up one, there we go. Right, so there we go, sending 15.7 to there. Okay, again, one digital, uh, one decimal place. And finally, we have the calculator. So um, use the plus, and this time you have two decimal spaces. So you can choose a number that has two decimal spaces. Now, when it gets into the variable modifier, it looks like it's only uh, passing the, the, the two, but it is actually passing uh, passing the one rather it is actually passing the two to the variable so uh don't worry uh because this display doesn't display the whole number um it can look a little confusing but no it is it is sending the whole thing from here now um the number displayer will allow a three digit number three decimal places but I can't find any gadget that gives you an option to type in a three digit number um, I suspect you could create a three digit number with some sort of calculation but um, to actually type in an actual number in I don't think there are any gadgets that will let you do that if anybody knows differently please say so in the comments um, there you go. So there are the different ways that you can send a number to a variable. Now, bear in mind, all of these gadgets have also got input sockets themselves. So you can dynamically change uh, what this number is. In this case, 3.14. You can dynamically change that number by, by other inputs. So you can change it by uh, holding buttons down, uh, using keyframes, you can have a timeline with it all changing. Um, you can use a randomizer, you can um, use selectors, you can do all sorts of things that can change these numbers that are being sent. So all of these can be dynamically changed during the game for various reasons, and then their inputs can then change uh, whatever is happening in here, or most of the time you just directly um, input into our variable modifier you don't really need to go through all of these um, but if you wanted to type in uh, a two digit uh, two two decimal place number then um, the calculator is the way to go because uh, these are pretty much superfluous because you can change the number here so it was worth having a look uh, it was sort of interesting I think thank you for watching hope it was interesting for you and I'll catch you in your dreams.